broke ass. A little bit of a view this morning. We got the uh, IntelliPack. Sounds like it's running. The complaint was last two days it's been warm. Multiple spaces. Uh, this morning, a lot cooler and feels a lot better outside and in the building. The coils don't look too bad. Got a little bit of dirt on them. Let's get in here and see what we got on our control. temp failure that's typical compressor trip circuit one all right so we got a compressor trip Temp failure is typical. Let's say uh, we don't have a zone temperature. We're running off supplier and static pressure. So it looks like we got three compressors running. Fans on 50%. Fire two inches water column. Here's my three compressors, my fourth one's off. Uh, evaporator temp 43 condensing temp doesn't look bad that's circuit 2 so I only got one compressor on that one that's why that's down Flyers 53, 54. Should be, I think, I'm pretty sure we're set at 55. So it's possible we have VAV box issues. It's just unusual that it's in multiple spaces, not just one or two areas. these control panels open and look see what we got Let's go back to diagnostics before we clear those out I want to look in here and see make sure my contactors are pulled in we'll get uh, get up top and make sure my fan motors are running everything looks normal in our control panel uh, these are just the remote modules uh, they don't work the uh, VFDs for all the drives are on the back. Uh, and it's fan motor contactors, fuses. We've got uh, all three compressors on circuit one running. And uh, the other two have cycled off. This compressor's failed, been failed. Uh, that's the only contactor on circuit two that's pulled in, but uh, no overloads or trips. So I got power to everything, so. Uh, I'm going to start with the condenser fan motors. Uh, 
uh, coils are clean, like I said. So we'll verify all my condenser fan motors run, and then we'll move on down and uh, plug into the system and see what's going on. Cause I got no uh, no noticeable issues. This is my exhaust out for the building pressure, and then all my uh, VFDs are inside that panel there. Fans on stage one, it's this side are running. I got good heat coming out of my condenser. Uh, the one stage that's down has got just those first two contactors. Or the first contact is those two middle fans. The other three fans are gonna be off that contactor there that's not energized. Let's bump. So, all three of those fans operate. Fuses are good. Uh, checked all my fuses. So, I'm back to what the hell happened here. Go back to. Uh, Set all of our active diagnostics and that's going to restart the unit. Uh, not sure what's going on here yet, so let's keep digging in and see what we can find. So here we are. I don't see any critical alarms. Everything's occupied. Average temperatures, minimum temperatures look good. Um, so everything looks normal there. Let's see what our spaces look like. And I'm just gonna compare set point to space temperature. Um, front lobby is a front vestibule area. It's at 100%, so I'm not concerned about that one. It's always warm. Everything else is within a normal range or right at set point. These do have the train thumb wheel stats. So they're all going to be set all over the place depending on whatever anybody wants. Hmm. There's our rooftop. Seven. That's our min position on the economizer. Let's see if it shows any alarms. Twenty. See, these are all old. Well, at least you know the twenty-third. Might have been out doing a PM or something. This is not communicating. We do have old and new devices on this system. But I haven't had too many issues out of it. They remodeled one area and put new VAV boxes in. All the old VAV boxes are still installed.
you guys have ever seen one of these guys this is the actuators on the old VAV boxes and it rotates to open and close the damper and what happens is see the movement in that bearing uh, you got gears that fit inside there and as it rotates it rotates it open when the bearings are failed they sound like a hamster in a wheel or something and then they won't won't actually turn but I see no alarm from Monday was when this started yesterday he said it was okay today's the 30th I guess so these are from the previous week and return to normal Gotta love it when there's no black and white answer to what happened. The only difference in variable that may be an issue is the temperature outside because it's much cooler today and this morning. It's the same thing we basically looked at on the roof. Circuit 2 is down a compressor, so that temperature is going to be higher. question I'm going to ask is because there was a tag when we did the PM I believe last week, the 23rd or so um, that when they restarted the economizer was at min position but the exhaust fan started running and drew a negative in the building he didn't have an answer for that and after reset everything went to normal It seemed normal when I got here today, unless it's doing something weird. disabled and we don't have a set point because we're not controlling off space temperature See if I can find out what my actual static pressure is. Find out where that's at. I think I looked at it on the roof and it was normal. If y'all ever dealt with these, it depends on who sets them up and how they're set up. The stuff can be in different spots. It makes it kind of a pain, but other than that, I like these controls. Space, space pressure now is normal. Alright, let's, let's go back to the graphic. There you go, there's our duct static. So, I mean, 2.1. Fifty-six degree discharge temperature. Hmm. Well, um, you know, I got a little overview of the control side here. Let me know what y'all think about it. I'm gonna keep poking around. Um, I'd like to just hang out here all day because it's nice and air conditioned in this room, but that's not gonna happen. We've been crazy busy. And I'm going to have to move on because I don't see anything noticeable. 
like I said, I'll watch it for a little bit longer and go ask a few more questions and see if I can't get any insight to maybe what happened. Um, so let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what to do. Leave me a comment. Hit it. We'll see y'all in the next one.